<laughs> we are joined in the studio um, to celebrate uh, on our red carpet, Akofa Ejiani. She was born on February 20, in a very good year, uh, 1969. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, oh, that's great. Yes. So she, she was a, born a, six days after Valentine's Day in the year 69. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And uh, she's joined us in the studio this morning. So um, we called you yesterday to celebrate you. Yes, thank and, you. So uh, much for and and we kind of felt that. Hang on a second. Akofana. Yeah, she be big woman. So Yankofano. Bas. But you're welcome to this Thank you so much. And a very good morning to all your listeners. It's always good to see you, huh? Mm, we, good to see you too. we meet meet in places, mm, kaka, kaka, you know. Mm. But uh, I mean, so your 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 heritage is very Voltairean. I mean, from uh, Vame Avatime, Vane. Vane, Vane Avatime, and then you went to Maoli School. So did you spend most of your formative years in the Volta region? No, actually, no. Uh, I was actually born in Kumasi, to me from Ada Kumasi. Hey, uh, see, I, am, I am half uh, Ashanti. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I was born at G, my father G. G. Yes, okay. my father was a soldier, you know, so oh, wow. at the time they were um, in Kumasi, so I was born in Kumasi at the time. Nice. So uh, then, 74, we came to Accra. So I've been in Accra since. Okay, mm. that's interesting. I went to Gonda Baras Primary School. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a Baras speaking Charlie. So well, <laughs> <laughs> explain uh, a lot then about I went you. To huh? Thirty-seven. Uh, I continued at thirty-seven. Uh, primary and middle school. Make one middle school, Master. Mm -hmm. Welcome and transfer from one. That's right. Mm -hmm. I may pass the year that I went to Mali school. Fantastic. <laughs> and um, I mean, uh, out of Mali school, you then and you know went to the University of Ghana and studied performing arts. Was that what you always I, wanted I to do? I studied theater arts. Sorry, <laughs> theater arts. <laughs> Why do we call it performing arts? Guys? Sorry, uh, theater uh, arts. So you go to theater arts, mm -hmm. and it's a school of performing it's arts. So we have music, the, we have yeah, dance, yeah, yeah. then we have drama. Sorry, it's School of Performing Arts at the uh, uh, University of Ghana. Where she studied but theater. But she studied theater arts. Yes. Semenyana, correct? Yeah, no, no. Okay, <laughs> good. All right. So was that always the dream? To yes, yes. I think I'm one of the lucky ones that knew from a very early age what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. So I just knew that a uh, drama now. Wow. But, 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 oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Drama, da, oh, da, da, so I just pursued it. So when mm -hmm. I went to school, I just knew that I have to choose art subjects mm -hmm. and all that. Mm. But, you know, it's quite interesting. Your formative years heading into university was during a period, and even today, something that still uh, persists in most homes, where parents actually want their children to end up becoming lawyers, doctors, engineers, and all of these things. What sort of support did you receive from your parents, or did you get any pushback? Well, I, I come from a home that um, we're supportive of each other, you know. I did get some, you know, the, the resistance from, from my siblings because I'm the last of 10 children. Okay. So my... <laughs> <laughs> my 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 older siblings were like, Nadia and Kura, this is drama, drama, yeah, and face the KPM, be a debia, so called rehearsals, yeah, yeah, ah, you know, so <laughs> it was like, no, this is not what you should do, you know, go and do nursing because the way I am, I'm very compassionate and very. You know, I can be very loving and kind, and so they thought, oh, send me out, you know. Because mm. our mother too, but yeah, now she doesn't feel well sometimes. In her day, you know, because now why you nurse for the family in her day, you know. So what I asked them was, nurse, nurse, nurse. Now yeah, many a time I call her us. Because ah, we are asking you to stop. Uh, and you know, all you're thinking you're about is how you get back. time to go yeah. for rehearsals, you know. So yes, they try to. It took me out of it by my mom and God rest her soul for mothers. You know, she was like, oh, leave this little girl alone. Mm -hmm. Let her do what she wants to do. 
you know, because I think somehow she could see uh, where I was heading. And so she will support me. Mm -hmm. And um, it's okay, you do your house chores early so that you can go. Because so it was like, if you don't finish your house chores, you can't go for rehearsals. Yeah. So I have to try and do it. Sometimes she'll say, oh, your cup? Me, 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 cup. you know. So my mother helped me a lot. And wow. later, everybody was like, okay, let's leave her be. Let her do what her heart wants. Mm. And, and that's how uh, they ended up supporting me and believing in me. Right. That's uh, well done to your mom and uh, the, the rest of the family who came round eventually. Yeah. But uh, can you remember your very first major production? Mm, very. The major one... I think it would have been uh, Harvest at 17, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Harvest at 17. Uh, I can't remember the year, but that's a long time. Harvest like at 17 80. is a long time. Uh, yeah. That'd be probably around the early 90s. Yes, yes, mid I think Mid-90s so. thereabouts. I think. No, not mid. Uh, It'd be early, early 90s. Early. Yes, right. very early. Because we did a play uh, called A Raisin in the Sun when mm -hmm. I was in school. We had a theater season uh, at the Art Center. We, we used to have theater seasons. And then uh, Wallace Vampo and other people came to watch mm -hmm. the film. And I think the first one was um, Mata, Mata Missing Children. Oh, so yeah. that's how he picked me for that role. And then I got the role for the Harvest of 17, but who, that was directed by uh, the legendary oh, Kowansai. Yes. It was, it was commissioned yeah, by the Commission of Culture. Yeah, it was in 1992. 1992. Yeah. Okay. And I think back then, you know, a lot of productions, whether it was Thursday Theatre, whether you were look, watching Obra or Sofodazi, um, what was the other one? Um, the one in Ga. Oh, God. Showcase. Showcase Isn't in it? Ga. Showcase. I mean, all of these uh, theatre productions that were done for television at the time were responding to specific so cultural. Uh, issues. Yes. Um, do you well, when find we were doing when we're doing the uh, get involved uh, the, the Thursday theatre? Mm -hmm. We're called get involved, and that was the whole thing. That get involved, just don't sit on the fence. Mm -hmm. Being involved in nation building. So the the signature tune for that was Arise Ghana you for your country. Mm -hmm. So get involved. We are all. We are all involved. Involved. involved in building a motherland. So that's what we call the get involved. From. So you see that the themes, uh, the let everything that we were doing was towards nation building, uh, teaching good morals, uh, putting the spirit of volunteerism and patriotism mm -hmm. in the people. You know, unfortunately, we are not seeing any of those anymore. Well, what do you think is accounting for that? You see, um, you don't leave stuff like that in the hands of individuals. Because independent producers, Charlie, it's something you had. Everybody is looking for bottom line money. Mm. You know, we need to put food on the table for us and our kids. You need to pay the bills. So many things. So when you're talking about nation building, you are talking about reorientation, shaping minds, shaping the country in a certain way. Where are we coming from? Where do we want to go? How do we get there? What are we missing? What are we throwing away? What is important? You don't leave that to individual uh, <laughs> producers to do. There must be a conscious effort, a deliberate action from powers that be to say, this is the way we want to shape our country. This is the Ghana we want to see in the next hundred years. Where do we want to be? And where do you start it from? You started from the creative space because we are able to engage all the six senses of it. They say five, but we are six, mm -hmm. you know? So we are the people to engage and give people direction, so to <clears> speak. <throat> you understand? So that it has to be a deliberate effort. And then you commission people to do with your commission, the producers, actors, whoever you think is competent enough. And then we roll it out. But that wasn't done. 
So the few people that were doing it out of their own consciousness and uh, uh, to say um, that duty, so to speak, because some of us feel that it's a duty we have to perform for for God and country. But it gets to a point, people get tired because there's no support, there's nothing. So there, there wasn't a deliberate effort. And so it fizzled out and all the producers are looking for the quick things yeah. That can bring them money. Wow, Benji, this is a very major issue. Mm. It, it seemed we sort of started right, um, and we're gone off the rails of the of the track. Um, Harvest the Seventeen was really a story of two teenage lovebirds, right? Um, and they defied parental counsel. Mm -hmm and chose to live their lives as they saw fit. And the rest is history. Youthful exuberance, experimentation with adult lifestyle. We think we know hmm. it all. Today's society is no, I mean, it can't be compared to the period when you did, I mean, 1992, this was what, 42 years ago? Mm -hmm. um, Oh no, it's more 30. than that. It's 32, 32 years ago. 32. Um, less than that, rather. Uh, uh, what do you think, Benjamin, I mean, has brought us here? Because you had National Commission on Culture at the time playing an active role in spearheading some of these campaigns. Well, where did we go all, wrong? It also depends on who is there. Okay. Because at the time we had Dr. Um, Muhammad uh, Abdullah. Ibn Abdullah, yes. Yes, and you know he he knows his stuff. He he's he's from the creative space. He champions. So it depends on who is there and their knowledge and understanding of how you use the creative industry for nation building, how you use the creative industries for for. Um, socioeconomic gains for the country. So it depends on who you put there, actually, yeah, basically. And, and you know, I, I'm just recounting one of those movies produced by, I mean, Koansa, where the, there was a Ghanaian who had been trained in the civil service, Kwisia Tabusumfi, <laughs> who wanting to align with the colonial masters. Heritage Africa. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Quincy Arthur Bosom Field. Mm -hmm. And there was a story that was told with that. Recounting my own experience back in Presec, acting in the drama club, directed by Daniel Clark, yep. that I know you know. Mm -hmm. We we did Anansi and the Gum Man. Okay. And it told a certain kind of story. All right. So aside from the person who is in charge, now we have the National Film Authority. We have a ministry that has a certain deliberateness when it comes to the arts, culture, uh, tourism, arts, and culture. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what do you think is the missing piece? Because now we have a lot of different elements in there. Even there's even the, the National Folklore Board, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be taking, you know, and they are just right here. Mm. So what do you think is the missing piece beyond the person I'm, who's in I'm, charge? I'm seeing a lot of duplicity. Okay, so um, there's a creative agency, creative industry, uh, what are they calling it? Creative arts, creative arts agency. There's nothing like creative arts, actually. I don't know why we are not changing uh, that. We, we've talked so extensively about it, but people are adamant to change. Every, every art is creative, so there's nothing like creative arts. It's the creative industries, but then well, we are the creative arts agency. <laughs> So there's a creative ag agency that is for all other creatives. Creators, yeah. Then we have the NFA that is specifically the for film. film. And it is separate because film is 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 different. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't box it with everything else. Yes. Film does so if a film uh, absorbs all the other Pretty much. creatives. Okay. We, 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 we have all of them in, in there. So there's the NFA, yes, but are we empowered? I'm, I'm a board member of the NFA. Are we empowered enough? It was only recently that they even had an office for the, for the executive secretary 
you know uh, we are not empowered enough i think that we were rushed it was rushed to set up the nfa because of the agitation that we were you know all of us were uh, were crying out for it and so just like okay for expediency let's let's set it up that's the way i see it so for just for expediency it was set up but i don't think that they were ready so we are not empowered enough uh there's supposed to be a film fund the nfa has been set up for a little over three years now there's no a city in the film fund so government needs to put a some seed money into it because the act says so that there should be a film fund but up to now not even a hundred thousand so you say okay government can put in five hundred thousand we are calling on corporates, Ghana, philanthropists, individuals, whoever, to support the film fund. There's nothing like that. The government can come out and say, uh, or, or create, like in Nigeria, there's a bank of industry set up by the government. Again, back to leadership. You need to understand what a vibrant film industry can do for the country it can break in more foreign exchange than cocoa and timber so are we looking at that so it depends on who is at the helm of a face or who is that because you the leader can know everything that's why they have special advisors they have all this all that all that so it depends on who is advising government on issues on in the cultural space they have to know these things and know that look this should be priority so people are talking about education they're talking about science and but all that is in the arts already it's, it's the foundation so it's like we are detaching ourselves from culture and doing other stuff it's, it's the culture is over there and we are here and that is where the problem is coming from mm. because everything else emanates from culture so even your maths your science your agriculture everything emanates from there so if we pay more attention to culture because culture is a way of life of life of a people what was that way of life before were we importing onions and tomatoes and other things from other places? No. So what went wrong? From Burkina Faso and Niger. What went wrong? So we should go back. Why are we not farming anymore to sustain ourselves? Why uh, everybody's come to Accra looking for a job? So the people who have to farm. So we need to go back and go back to the drawing board. What needs to be done? There has to be that roundtable discussion between if it's the Ministry of Trade and Agri and Creative Industry or um, what is it, um, Culture, Arts, Ministry of Tourism, Tourism, Tourism Arts, Arts and, and Culture. Culture. Okay. We, 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 everybody shouldn't be doing things in isolation. I think that we should sit together and see where we merge and what everybody should do. To enhance each other's work. I don't think that is being done enough. I don't see it. If it's being done, then I don't see it. And then I was talking about duplicity. There's a commission of um, culture. Then there's the ministry. Where who does what? The commission will typically sit under the ministry. Yes, but they are under resourced. So things that probably should just go to the commission will have to pass through the ministry waste of time and then the power right everything so i think that we need to really look at, at those things I, I went to the u.s and i realized that there was no minister for culture there's no minister for culture in the u.s no but they hold their culture very strong right from kindergarten you you are being told that you're superior you're good you're better than the african you're this you're that you're it, it's their culture and they teach it from kindergarten that's why they grow up thinking they are better than us of course you're not it's, it's an illusion it's a perception but we have bought into it 
and most of the youth believe so they think that if you don't wear those hairs all the way to your waist you think you're not beautiful uh, if you don't do this you don't look beautiful enough it's an agenda they have where is our agenda where is it where is our think tank let's i was going to say for the next hundred years let me bring it to 50 years where is our think tank for the next 50 years in all the sectors where where is it the development plan you, where is it you, you ask a very profound question and um i mean i would say there's gollywood there's no as gollywood a, as, there isn't no gollywood is somebody's registered company called gollywood so the industry is not called Gollywood. Mm. It's Ghana. It's it's Ghana films. Wow. Films made from Ghana is Ghana films. So British we films. Have... We have British films. Mm. We have follow. Yes, we don't. Gollywood is, is somebody's registered company. That so it is for. not a, a, a national. Project. No, it's not a national name for mm. film industry. Well, talking about the wood. Uh... But ma why must we have wood? Let's be innovative. <laughs> Everything has to be wood because there's Hollywood, then there's Bollywood, and there's Nollywood. So you must also have wood. Kuma wood. You must. Also, that's Hollywood. what I'm saying. We must also have wood. You copy any any. Everything we are copying, and we don't copy the right things. Talk about copying. I mean, Nigeria, in terms of um, the evolution of film um, on this continent, we were light years ahead of them. Mm. Today, you struggle to find more than two Ghanaian productions on Netflix. It's 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 Ghana we like to to rejoice in past glory. <laughs> yeah, they're starting, yeah. Uh, but, but that is it. What is it when that we, we haven't started, done? then what mm -hmm. happened? Because now like you're saying, they're all over there and we are still here. The thing is, Nigeria has the numbers. It's a, it's a it's a game of numbers. But no, I, I agree to a certain extent, but when it comes to putting stuff out in the global domain today, there are lots of Ghanaians consuming Nigerian content. Because Is it we, because we, they've, we they've done not, something about the production? We are not producing enough. They have gotten better. When they started, you know, the, the mm. quality was not mm. what you're seeing now. Mm. You, you grow. You perfect where you start. <laughs> the, the thing is, your people believe in what you're doing. I, I just mentioned Bank of Industry. They realize that mm, there's something good here. They are using film for rebranding. So now you see the 419 thing, you don't hear it like before. Uh -huh. they, they are rebranding the country and they are using film. And the government has seen it and has bought into it because it's good for the image. It's good for business is good for employment because film can employ almost like 200 i think the last time david Dunter and i were counting we got to 150 plus people that you employ hmm. architects carpenters drivers electricians oh, yeah. that's a single production you know so it's a low hanging fruit that if you're talking about employment this is the place you should be looking at designers uh, everything so there's a bank of industry in nigeria that gives money to other businesses including the creative industry so if we are not saying government give us dash us money like they say dash no don't we are not saying give us free money we are saying conducive environments make things possible talk to some of these banks get us into the meeting with them let them understand let's look like if we give you this money how are you going to pay back give us the money at two three percent we are not saying completely free give us to two to three percent interest and let us work because that is what is working for nigerians I see. so they can go and assess that money and produce Funding is such a problem here for us. There are a lot of us with good scripts, we included. I have scripts lying there. I know other people who have good scripts. There's no source of funding because film is capital intensive. And so there has to be a, a way or a place to source for fun. 
and investors are interested in 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 investing in film mm. if that happens we will do more because the few that we do it's good yeah so if we can do more so you don't see more of our movies on netflix because for probably uh let's say if you have 10 producers here you have 200 or 300 over there and so out of the 10 we produce maybe two can go on netflix whilst because they have 300 to our 10 you see 100 on netflix and you see at you so all we need is how to get funding mm -hmm. and you see the kind of great stuff that will do okay. oh, i'm loving the sound of that uh we're going to be talking about um your recent work uh but quickly uh, pariano says uh, yeah i remember akofa and havas at 17 in 92 with characters like Edina Matachi, yes. <laughs> David Donto, Jifaglipoy, uh, Mali, Semavo, and Kozi. Can you, can you, can you, oh, that's interesting. Can you and the rest of the characters come together to reenact uh, this this film? They need okay. a producer who will pay the money. <laughs> that's true. Yes, we'll we'll have to find that producer. <laughs> but um, uh, this one, I'm asking for a friend. Yeah. As they say, you're looking nomi nomi. <laughs> in, in <laughs> uh, 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 but uh, are you are you married? I'm divorced. You're divorced. Yes. Are you dating? Hey, interview. Asking interview. For, wait, you're asking for a friend. <laughs> what kind of friend is that? Uh, <laughs> Not a female friend, I hope. No. Uh, a male friend. Are you? <laughs> no, no, I'm with with, with with a lot of virility. Oh no, no, seriously. But <laughs> so, what's happening in your in your love life? Are you? There's nothing happening. Oh, how? Yeah. You just wake up every day, thank God, and look good, and go to sleep. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been no. busy. Well, when I have something to shoot, yeah, you know, yeah. Otherwise, I'm not that busy. All right, let, let, let's yeah. let's let's take a listen to this, right? And uh, I want to ask you a couple of questions about this. There was a time before the time of old when the gods spoke in silence and the forests shook in stillness. The time before the conjuring of stools, before the planting of swords. Even before the porcupines had a voice. That was the time warriors arose. The time of a mega detour. <laughs> so, Akofa, tell us about the time of Amegade. <laughs> so, that's, that's an interesting one. A nice film that we shot, uh, written and directed by Marco Figinia. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to premiere 21st of March. Oh, really? Yes. At the, we have a date. At the AMA, the Snap Cinema. That's at right, at the AMA. AMA in Accra. So. March. Yes, 21st mm. March. But it will show 22nd and 23rd as well. But the premiere is on Twitter. If you want to see all of us who played in it, mm -hmm. you should come. That, that's, the day that's, the are, that's the day we are coming. Ben, yes. ben so really we it, have yeah. um, uh, Brian Angels in it. Uh, my very good self, yours truly, I. Mm, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah. uh, Geelong, um, yeah. um, Andrew. Well, that's the voice. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. his voice you heard. Uh, yes, and you know. say, yes, that's right. Andrew. It's 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 a it's a story from Mochi. You know, there are two school of thoughts. There are people that are saying Nakonfad Mochi is not from the Volta region. Mm -hmm. We are saying that he's from the Volta region. So mm -hmm. you need to prove <laughs> otherwise. Yes, that wow. it was Okonfuna mm Ofi -hmm. So Deto is actually the father of Okonfanoche and his twin brother. So at the end of the film, the twins were born. Who well, then one becomes Okonfanoche. Wow, I'm hoping yeah. that after this film, we might get money to be able to do the Okonfanoche story itself. It's beautiful. That yeah. this is the beginning of it when Okonfanoche was born at the end 
Yeah. Of it. So this is about his father, Amega Decho. Okay. How he was a warrior hunter, the things he went through from his childhood to becoming the warrior hunter. Very beautiful story. Yes. And, and I love it because um it's it's one of the things in fact I mean it's because it's it's us telling our own stories. Mm -hmm. You know, which I believe we should be telling more of our stories. There's so many of our stories that people don't know about that we are not telling enough so i'm really happy to be playing in this and i'm playing who know the who know is the um what you call the fetish priestess yeah, yeah so no means the, 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 the who know is the land of yeah the spirit head mm -hmm. Of, of 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 the land who knows everything and yes, sees I everything. Female Baba I can see. <laughs> Female can, Baba yes, 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 I can see your Indeed. dreams. Yes. Let me see. Yes. Uh, you you can see. Oh, it, I yeah. can see your dream. This year is going to be very good. <laughs> 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 oh, Akofa, it's always a pleasure hanging out with you. Look, let's do this. Um, I think we need to have you back. Um, mm. Maybe nearer the the time of the. Of the, um, of the premiere, premiere that'd or, be great. Or soon after, the, yeah, maybe near the time, so we can talk more about this. But I, I think we didn't have enough time to to do justice to all the conversations because, on one hand, we wanted to talk to you about you, mm. we want to learn more about you, and then on the other hand, we want to learn about your work. Yes, and you've yes. done so much, but we're thankful that you availed yourself to appear on our red carpet. You need to give her the benediction again. Yes. Mm. Uh, and so yesterday we prayed for you. Mm. And today we are going to pray for you to end the show. Mm. Uh, may he who knew you before you were an idea mm -hmm. in your father's head and before you were a clot in your mother's womb, mm. may he continue to guard you. Amen. May he protect you. Yes. May he elevate you. Amen. And may he smile on you always amen and after all of that is said and done may he grant you peace, peace of, of mind, mind mm -hmm. long life good, good health, health and plenty, plenty money i need it papa amen amen, amen. amen. <laughs> amen. 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 and you, that's how we so, so much <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for all the wonderful people that wish me happy birthday yesterday. Yeah. Those that came by the house, oh mm. my goodness. Some of my colleagues in the media space or yeah. in the creative space where there was Some wonderful. of us will be coming Thank after you. the rest. Thank we like so smaller, crowds. smaller crowds. We are coming there today. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Akofa. Uh, let's hand you over to uh, Clank Singer Champion to bring us the news on the hour.